In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make shiny chrome text effects in Photoshop. Let's go. So before we begin, let me encourage you, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for plenty more tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials, and design inspiration videos. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I put a new video out. So we're here in Photoshop 2021. You can use older versions of Photoshop as well. This effect does work. We're gonna dive in and create ourselves a new document. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my classic Insta preset, which is 3840 by 4800. And then I'm just gonna click create. And so we've got our new artboard here. I'm gonna give this a name, call this Chrome Effect. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is that Chrome Effects work best on a dark background, whether that's a dark photo or whether that's just a plain color. Uh, I'm just gonna use black just to show the effect the best. So I'm gonna come over here and use the paint bucket tool and just dye this black. Okay, so the second uh, step we need to do is add some text in. So to keep this super simple, I'm just gonna add a new text layer and we're gonna choose a, a, a kind of cursive font. It's up to you which font you use. Uh, you can use kind of like more of a sans serif font. It does still get a cool effect, but I find the coolest effect comes when we use like script fonts or cursive fonts. So I'm using a font called Shelby, which is free on Adobe fonts. Um, and it looks pretty cool. It's got that kind of chromey uh, kind of like retro effect. So. That's what we're gonna use here. So I've just used the word Chrome, but obviously use whatever you wanna use in your own design. Uh, but this is the basis for our text effect. So we have Chrome here. I'm just gonna position this in the right place. Give it kind of like a slanted feel. Make sure that's all centered up. Now our next effect will be to add a bevel to this. And we do this by going down to the text layer here, double clicking on it, opening up the layer style panel, going to bevel and emboss and clicking on that. And that turns on the effect. And then we're gonna choose inner bevel. We're gonna make the technique smooth. If you have more sans serif fonts, I would encourage you to try using chisel hard and chisel soft as it makes those lines up really nice and clean. But for a more smooth cursive font, we're gonna use the smooth technique. So then I've turned up the depth right up to a thousand percent. And I've got the size here at 21 pixels and I've softened it a few pixels as well. I think the chrome effect best shows up when the size is around 21 pixels. If we go too far, it starts to lose the shapes uh, within the text and then it doesn't really look chromey at all. So something like 21 pixels is good. And then you can choose your contour as well. There's plenty of different contours to choose from. Um, I like using the, this one here. It's kind of like peak. That's a pretty good one. But you can try and mess around with these and get an effect you like. But I'm just gonna go with this one for now. And then adjust your opacity uh, on both the highlight and the shadow. The higher you turn up the shadow, the more contrast there is, which works well for a chrome effect. So try turning that all the way up, both of those up to 100%. Okay, so now we have our bevel added. The next thing we're gonna do is add the chrome effect. So if we go to OK, and then what we're gonna do is right click on this text layer down here and click Convert to Smart Object. And all this does is make sure that our bevel effect is still editable once we've applied all of these other effects on. So now we've got this in a smart object, what we're gonna do is go up to filter, filter gallery, and we're gonna go down to sketch and then to chrome. And we're gonna zoom out. And now you can see it starts to look like chrome. Now you can um, adjust this however you want. If you want it more kind of like smooth and less detailed, you can do that or you can turn it right up and have like a really detailed chrome piece entirely up to your personal preference. Um, I'm gonna kind of go for something like smoothness five, detail one. So we can start to see that really nice like reflective style. And then once you've done that, click okay. And now you can see this really starts to look like Chrome. If we zoom in, you can see we've got like reflections um, and it's got that contrast as well from the bevel effect. And it looks really nice. But we're just gonna soften that up a little bit with the Gaussian blur. So if you go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then just apply a very slight blur. Just like that. Now the next step will be to turn this back into another smart object. So we're gonna have a smart object within a smart object. It's a little bit inception, but it just means that all of those effects are still editable. So right click, convert to smart object. And now we're gonna add a subtle glow effect. Now you don't have to do this, but I think it looks pretty cool and it kind of helps sell that reflectiveness um, of the Chrome. So if you go to the text layer down here, double click, and then go to outer glow. 
and I've got my opacity set to 22. My noise set to five, just add a little bit of texture there. The spread is very low at 6%. Uh, the size is pretty high at 163, which gets that kind of nice diffused glow. Uh, and then I've got the range way up and jitter down to 60%. So I click OK. So now you can see it's slightly glowing. It's got that kind of reflective look and just helps to settle in with the background. Okay, so the final thing to do on this is to add some sparkle effects to give that real metallic reflective look. And so what we're gonna do is create a new layer and then we're gonna go over to brushes. And I've left a link in the description to a brush kit that I'm using here and it's entirely free for commercial purposes. So you can go ahead, download that and uh, use it in Photoshop. So once you've imported that into your brush library, all you need to do is come up to the brush selector, go down to glitter brushes, and then I'm gonna choose uh, the one that I like, which is called uh, star seven. And then go to your color picker and we're gonna choose just plain white. Now, if you right click, you can adjust the size of the sparkle. I'm gonna do something like 500 here. And then making sure that we're on the new layer, we're just gonna go ahead and start adding some sparkles. And this is really personal preference, how many sparkles you wanna do, whether you wanna mix it up with different sparkle brushes. I'm just gonna keep it all the same sparkle uh, and just add a few here and there. So now that's on an independent layer, what we can do is just combine those two. So if you go shift and click on both, right click, convert to smart object, and then now that is all one piece. Wow. So now you've got this cool Chrome text effect that you can use in plenty of different projects. Feel free to chuck a background in, an image in, uh, it will look good on all of those things. Just make sure it's nice and dark and contrasty so that those chrome effects really shine through. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. If you're looking for some cool design assets, make sure you go and check out Toolkit. There's some of my stuff on there as well, so definitely take a look. And as always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon.